Hi, this is Nahi Kazaza, and I'm so excited to share with you the Aspire Systemize Your Business program. This is our first class. What we are basing the course on is a book called The E-Myth, written by Michael Gerber. Michael Gerber. And actually, the version of the book that you are going to be using is The E-Myth Revisited. He also recorded a video class called Beyond the E-Myth, The Evolution of an Enterprise from a Company of One to a Company of 1,000. Now, you can get both of these resources through the Aspire website. There are little pictures of the book. You can click through it to buy it on Amazon. And there's also a link to go onto Michael Gerber's own website to purchase the course. These are not mandatory in order for you to go through this program. They're great resources. You could use them at the beginning of the program. You could use them in the middle of the program. You could use them at the end of the program. But you're still going to get value out of the program whether you use them or not. Because what we're going to be focusing on is applying the systems, getting them going. Let me tell you a story. I've used the E-Myth with my business owner clients now for years. So I would say probably 12 years I've been using this book with my clients. Everybody, when they read the book, loves it. Everybody, when they read the book, gets great ideas from it, and they want to apply the systems in the book to their business or to their life right away. Most people start the process of applying something, but very rarely does anybody apply the systems and ideas in the book to the extent that they actually do grow as much as they can. I can tell you that I know two business owners who have implemented the systems in these books, in this book, 100% in their businesses. These two both started from the ground and are now running businesses that yield several million in revenue per year, and neither of them have to go into the office if they don't want to. Now they do because they love mentoring the team and being there and leading the business, but they don't have to. And they can go on vacations and they can spend time learning something new. They can spend time with their family. They can do whatever they want to do because they have the time. So they have time, they have money, they have energy. And the only thing that separates these two businesses from the other businesses that I know is they've taken the systems in this book, The E-Myth, and implemented them in their businesses 100%. So what happened to everybody else that started the process, that got inspired and started implementing the processes? Well, what I think happened is what happens most of the time when we get inspired. We get some great ideas, we start applying them, but what happens is if we don't apply them right away and then consistently keep working on them, we get stuck and we get distracted by all the busyness and time passes because we don't get back to it, because we need time to concentrate, to think through it again. And once enough time has gone by, everything fades because it hasn't been applied. And once it's faded, it's harder to get back to. So for most people, you start the process, you get excited, and then everything fades out. And you go on to the next great idea, but you stay in that busyness. So what we're going to do here in this program is address that obstacle. We're creating a group. We're creating a series of classes so that you are going to get a little bit of support every week or two to keep you moving and applying these concepts to your business until you've got enough concepts applied where you've gathered enough momentum so you can continue and complete the process on your own. This is the process we're going to use. I'm going to start by outlining all the systems from the course. You can spend as much or as little time as you want in the course because you're going to get all the systems right up front. This is because I think the hard part isn't understanding the concepts, the hard part is applying the concepts. What we're going to be focusing on in this class is applying the concepts. Where you're going to get your most value is listening to the conversations. 
Now, if you're going through this with me the first time, you're going to be on live group calls. We're going to talk together about our own processes. We're going to provide support. We're going to discuss challenges. We're going to share best practices. We're going to share how we get stuck. We're going to work through how we are getting stuck on the phone. And if you're listening to the recordings of those calls, you're going to get inspired. You're going to learn. You're going to get more ideas. And if you're stuck, you're going to get unstuck. Now, I've reserved enough time to go through December. As I'm recording this, it's May. That's seven months worth of classes. Now, my commitment is to keep working as long as there's somebody else to work with on these systems. You can work on them as long as you want. What I want for you is for you to take it as far as you want to take it. Now, if Michael Gerber had his way, he'd have you growing to a worldwide enterprise. That's how excited he is about the program. What I think is Michael Gerber's gift is his ability to make everything look simple. Look at this pyramid. Now, I created the pyramid, but this is a summary of all of the systems that he talks about for an entire enterprise, a worldwide enterprise, in just these systems. Now, I've organized them in a hierarchy because the systems at the bottom are required really to effectively do the system on the next level up. But if you'll notice, there are only five levels in the hierarchy. And at each of those levels, there are only a few different systems. That's how powerfully simple his system is. Now, don't let that fool you. It doesn't mean it's not going to take very much time. But being simple like this, it's going to be very easy to understand, and it's going to be powerful to implement. Let me go over the systems with you very briefly, but then we're going to go into them again in more detail on our call. The bottom level I call the grounding and guidance systems. Michael didn't come up with that term. I came up with that term. I call them grounding and guidance systems because that's what they do. They ground you and they guide you. They make sure that you're very, very clear about where you're going, and they keep you grounded so that you're not spinning out of control. So you're staying with what's most important, so you're consistently and steadily moving forward. These are your dream, your vision, your purpose, and your mission. Michael insists that you do these first before you even bother with any of the others. They're really, really important. They're kind of fun. They're not too hard to at least get a grasp on. Then we have client fulfillment. This is exactly what you think of, think of it. It is everything you do to serve your customer, how you get your product or your service to your customer. And after that, we have client acquisition, which is exactly what it seems. How do we bring on new customers, sales and marketing? Now, a lot of people want to know why does client fulfillment come before client acquisition? This is actually what sold me on this process because I realized it's exactly what happens to me. You can't focus on client acquisition unless you're comfortable with your client fulfillment system. Otherwise, you bring on new clients, and if you don't have enough bandwidth to serve all your clients, the quality of your service goes down. Then you panic and start spending time on servicing your clients again, and you stop growing. And so then you get caught in this cycle where you never grow too big because you can only grow as big as you can handle everything it takes to serve your customers. But if you have a really good client fulfillment system, then you're able to serve your customers and have enough time and energy left over to focus on growth. So that's what's so powerful about this. And we will also talk more about this on the first call. Now, once you have a client fulfillment system and a client acquisition system, you're successfully growing a business. And Michael puts into effect what I call the multiplier. So he, he calls client fulfillment and client acquisition put together as a practice. And then he multiplies it by seven to turn it into a business. And he multiplies it by seven again to turn it into an enterprise. And then what he applies is a business management system to manage all the practices and an enterprise leadership system to manage all of the businesses. The enterprise leadership system includes things like continuous improvement on all the systems, 
or systems to grow your people into leaders. So it's actually really exciting stuff. What I believe we're going to be focused on mostly, though, in our seven months together is the client fulfillment and client acquisition systems. Those are really clear to understand, but they take time to build in every business, and I believe that's where most people get stuck. What I want for you is to get these two systems complete, and if you get this far, we can take it to the next level. We'll for sure give you the tools you need to take it to the next level. So what to expect? What I've experienced going through this is a lot of thinking and drafting. A lot of my time is spent writing my ideas, writing what I think my systems are, but then going back and writing them again as I get more ideas, as I work with my clients, as I do everything that needs to be done in my business, and I realize, oh, this should be added to the system, or, oh, there's an easier way to do this. I can make this more simple. As I go through the process, I get increasing clarity and specificity, and you'll get that through the discussions that you have on the phone with everyone or through listening to the audio recordings of the discussions. Also, if you have a team, you'll be teaching your team, you'll be processing your team with your team, and you'll be having conversations with your team, and that will get you more clear too. What I'd like you to do, though, is start now with one step. It can be a baby step, 10 minutes. I think what I'd like you to do is start by writing down any thoughts you have after watching this video. They can be fragmented thoughts, just bullets. They can be a whole system. You might find that you get inspired and start writing and just can't stop and you write down a whole system. That's fine too. But don't overburden yourself. Just think in terms of 10 minutes. What can I do in 10 minutes? One thing that I think is going to be most valuable is for you to pay attention to your thoughts and listen to where you're saying yes but. Yes, but this doesn't work for my business. Yes, but my business is always changing. Yes, but my business is too custom. Yes, but I don't have a business. How does this apply to me? All of your yes, buts are really important because everybody else has those too. And we're going to be addressing these on our first call. So I'd like you to come to the phone on Friday with a bunch of yes, buts and also some drafts of your initial ideas for what your systems might be. I'm really looking forward to starting this process with you and look forward to hearing you on our next call. Talk soon.